Fuji and I have been studying illustration at Camberwell College of Arts. <laughs> my goodness, I can't even, I don't even know my own school's name. I have been studying illustration at Camberwell College of Arts, UAL in London for the past three years. And this video is, the, is my final month um, as an art student, as an undergraduate here. And after that I have to enter the real world. So I wanted to make this video because um, half of my degree has happened online uh, because of the pandemic and so it feels like in some sense that it didn't even happen. And just now in my third and final year things have gotten back to normal. We had tutorials in person and um, workshops and all of that and it has been so, so nice. So nice to know people in my tutorial group, not just see them as little icons on a screen, to know my tutor, to know my um, the building and the library and the technicians in the printing room and all of that. Um, and because it's been so nice, it also went by super quickly. I wanted to document this last month as a way to have something to look back on later because I know I will miss being a student here uh, and I know that I mean, I'm never going to be an undergrad again, so um, I'll never be able to have the same experience again. Obviously, this last stretch of art school or any uni degree is quite stressful and exhausting, but at the same time, it's also very exciting and a lot of beautiful moments have happened as well, and I, for the most part, really enjoyed it. Uh, and so I also want to commemorate that. So I obviously had to prioritize my work uh, for most of this time, but I also wanted to enjoy the beautiful spring that's been happening here in London and uh, all of the amazing parks that I get to visit on a daily basis and all the flowers. I. Uh, in case you don't get it from this video, I am obsessed with flowers and parks. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to allow myself to take the time and to feel all of the emotions that come with this time, all the stress and the anxiety of what's going to happen next, uh, and all of, and the, the sadness of, of this change, but also all of the joy and being able to spend time with my friends and my partner and. Um, at school and the excitement of, of creating um, artworks, which I am happy and proud of. I was working on my um, final pieces that will be my degree show um, next month. Um, I was talking to my boyfriend about some of the struggles I was facing um, both like conceptually and um, from a technical standpoint and he reminded me of how exciting my project was and that I may never have the chance to have that much creative freedom and be able to dive into a topic that deeply as I have now. And so it's so exciting and, and that I should really try to make the most of it. some stuff um, it was kind of a way for me to to recognize the value of that moment and its importance and that in retrospect it will um, 
but I do enjoy looking back on it and it's, it can be a quite informative time as well. So yeah, it's just a way of taking a moment to acknowledge my current state of being and you'll see me do that out and just sitting in parks and or in the sun and reading and that was kind of my way of doing that. Yeah, um, I don't think I have ever sat down to film myself um, talking for anything besides like what my tutors would see or for master's application. So this is quite awkward for me at the moment, but uh, I hope that whoever takes the time to watch this will enjoy this video and um, I will try to make more in the upcoming weeks and months. And hopefully I will get more comfortable with talking in front of a camera. <laughs> Enjoy!
accomplished because I got up early and I went to, to Aldi uh, to get groceries very early because that's when it's still nice and there aren't too many people. And I got some beautiful tulips. They aren't completely open yet, but they will be very pretty. And I got my sister and I uh, both pano chocolates for breakfast. morning it is about um, 7 35 and I'm baking chocolate chip cookies for my sister because she has an exam today
This isn't awkward at all. <laughs>